It's fair to say that when most people think of hardwood floors in the home and the mention of pets and surface damage, large dogs come to mind, and rightfully so. With claws out, just walking around the house can potentially, over time, result in a few scratches to the hardwood. But what about cats? Can your feline do some damage while running and playing? It's certainly possible, and today we'll talk about some of the reasons to be concerned and what you can do to remedy certain issues. Before we begin, I'd just like to say that hardwood floors can be quite stunning. They can really change the look of your home. And for this very reason, keeping them as pristine as possible is the goal. But how does that mesh with having a cat in the home? Perhaps multiple felines? Let's begin with the aforementioned claws. Thankfully, compared to dogs, surface scratching isn't a big problem. Unless your cat starts to use the floor as somewhat of a scratching post, you should be fine otherwise. And speaking of a scratching post, before I move right along, if you don't have one, get one. Especially if you've just moved into a home with hardwood floors, or you've recently remodeled and replaced the carpet with hardwood. You don't want your cat to become attracted to the floor. Walking is one thing, even running can be tolerated, but using the floor itself for attempted sharpening, that's a problem. Get a scratching post and save your floors. Additionally, have your cat's nails trimmed professionally or at home if the length is presenting an obvious issue. I mentioned the look of hard wood and how a good floor can be a game changer. Well, so can the type. The softer the surface, the more likely that cat nails will harm the floor. A thicker surface is far more resistant against claws. And just as a side note, going with a thicker selection is just wise overall and all around, especially if you do have small children in the home. The next one, well, it's a bit of a trick, let's say. Sort of like how certain colors of carpet can serve to mask some slight imperfections. That coffee stain in that brown carpet, can't really see it, can you? Well, like carpet, sometimes the color of the hard wood can hide some trauma. The darker the surface, the better. Strive for a medium color at the very least, in an effort to reduce the appearance of scratches. Another way to mask an imperfection is to avoid using a glossy finish. Sure, it looks great visually and in pictures, but over time those blemishes will stick out like a sore thumb. One thing about hardwood flooring that I personally love is the various grain patterns. You could have 500 surfaces and they'd all look a bit different, and that's pretty cool. And another thing that is pretty cool is hardwood that has a lot of personality and character. Ready-made visual flaws, if you will. Sensing a theme here? Is that a scratch from a cat or was the wood just made that way? Hmm, I'll never tell. Keep the visual a bit interesting. It'll mask any damage that could be caused by your cat. Various floor textures can also aid in this masking. Give the floor that aged look and feel. Cat, you say? What cat? And now that we've got our floor just the way we want it from a visual and integrity standpoint, can we cover it? And if we can, how should we go about doing just that? You know, put a rug over those high traffic cat areas where some of the more obvious surface marks could take place. Let's place a mat under the food and water bowls, a mat under the litter box. How about a nice rug where your cat's bedding and primary plate area exists. Make it stylish, but also make it serve a significant purpose. And oh yeah, any cat litter on the hardwood itself, hmm, perhaps some failed restroom attempts, if you will. Be sure to wipe it up, clean it up soon. While not likely, it is possible for feline urine to damage the surface in some cases. Just be mindful, and if you see waste out of the litter box, remove it and clean the floor accordingly. So, before I wrap things up, Cats can cause damage to hardwood floors, but it shouldn't be a deal breaker for you. If you want hardwood floors, by all means. 
and just keeping things 100% honest, there's a better chance that floor damage will be caused by your own daily activities than your cat's claws. For example, drop a plate, drop a glass, drop some silverware. A lived-in home is going to have a bit of character, so don't sweat it. Just keep that floor clean and uh, put rugs and mats where they're needed and enjoy that hardwood floor. And with all of that stated, I'll now turn things right over to you, the viewers of Senior Cat Wellness. Do you have a cat and a nice hardwood floor? Any damage to report or is everything just fine? Please let me know down in the comments section below. And for me personally, this was a very fun video. It's not every day that I get to talk about felines and a bit of home improvement, if you will. So just another adventurous day here at the channel or on the channel right here at Senior Cat Wellness. And before I head on out, I would like to thank you as always for taking some time out of your very busy day to join me right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Did you like what you heard today? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, you know how it goes. We will talk to you later and good luck with those hardwood floors. See you later.